Hi, I'm going to show you uh, how to add a bar scale in North Arrow and also a couple of things you need to do to uh, clean up your plan just so it's ready to put on your sheet. And this will, um, in 2024, this will be for our class on Thursday to wrap up our um, final project. Okay, so here we are on my floor plan. Um, I do not yet have all my dimensions in, but you should by now. So you're going to want to crop the box. So if you don't have your crop box turned on, you're going to want to actually wait to do this part till we put in the bar uh, scale and the north arrow. But one thing I want to draw your attention to is that we we found in past printing and edit issues is that these elevation tags um, are really a pain because if you crop into them, they'll still show up on your page and actually kind of morph where this um how much basically white space is being put on your sheet. So before we do anything, we want to make sure to hide these guys right here. So I'm just collecting this whole batch. Um, we don't have elevation marks in anywhere in this set currently. So it's okay to just right click and say, hide in view category. If you did have elevation marks that you need to show up in your plan, then you're going to want to do it element, meaning one by one. But right now we're just going to hit cat category and that's going to hide all of them. Um, and then that'll help us basically not having that weird, huge amount of white space when we put it on our sheet. All right. So this plan now, like I said, it should, if you're viewing it your own, it sh you should have all your dimensions filled in here. And then what I'm going to do now is um, add the North Arrow and the um, bar scale. So for that, we actually go to annotate. And then we go way over here to the far right under the symbol category. And you pick uh, this tab for symbol, this little like square, almost like checkerboard. Then you're going to pick load family. Now this should open up your um, directory of like all of the families that we have access to and preloaded in Revit. So I already had open to annotations, but if you saw what I did there, this is kind of the route where I am with it. And then I go to annotations and I'll show you the bar scales first. So there's this one graphic scale. Um, I really like the looks of that, but there's a few tweaks you have to do with that. Um, you could also use this one eighth scale because we are actually using an eighth scale on our drawing here. See, there's our scale down here. So I can say open and then it'll come up as basically just like a component that I'm going to drop in. So there it is there. And it's going to, um, oh wait, actually that's the last one. That's the adaptive one. So hold on, let me get rid of that one. I've been kind of loading a few of these for the, this uh, video. So we're going to hit symbol again and then load family. And this time, let's make sure we have the right one that it's not kind of defaulting to it. So it says open. That's the one I want, the eighth inch scale. And that's it there. So this guy, oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, it's being a bit to date. So if we go over to properties, what it's doing is I have them preloaded. So there's a couple here already. Here's the one that if you were following along, this is the one that's going to pop in. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, like modern art looking, I guess. You are welcome to use that one. That one's not incorrect but I'm gonna show you how to load the other one first. So if we go back to symbol, and then if you're following along for the first time, this is how you're gonna to get to them. So then the other one I like, this is GA graphic scale. So I'm gonna pick that one, and then we'll see if it'll put that one in for me. Oh, no, it's putting the last one. So in my case, they're preloaded. So I'm over here under properties and I have a drop down, and here's the, the GA graphic scale one that you would be loading now. So if we put this one in, this is what you have to pay attention to. It's saying it's at a half inch scale, even though our drawing is actually at an eighth inch scale. So for this component right here, you're gonna go over here to, so you can see view scale. But if we go to properties, if you click on this guy here, so currently the scale factor is 24. If we make it 48, if you look down here, that's how we get a quarter of an inch scale. If we double that again, type in 96, that's then how we get the eighth inch scale. So I personally, I like the looks of this one, but you can pick whatever one you want. I also like that it takes up less space too. So I'm going to use this one in my drawing. Probably going to move this down just a little bit and put my north arrow above it. Now I probably would have dimensions here, so it might need to be like more like this. Now for um, the north arrow, we're going to, again, we're still in annotate. We go back to symbol, we click that, and then we're going to go over to here to load family. And then in your case, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see that you have basically three variations of the North Arrow. This is the first one here. Hoping it kind of comes up. There it is pointing upwards. Um, for our purposes in this class, we're going to pretend up is North, down is South. Um, this one is kind of like a circular grid and there, it's going to highlight which direction you're uh, pointing in there. 
This one you can uh, rotate yourself. You have a little bit of more options in moving that around. Um, so we're going to use, I'm going to just start with this one, say open. Um, this one is also preloaded for me, so it's still trying to load the darn scale. So instead, I go back here, and mine is, I think it's this first one here, North Arrow 1. Yep, there we go. All right, so those two things are all set. Um, again, once I get my... Um, my dimensions all in here and kind of situated, then we're going to crop this a bit more. And that's going to be what we're going to put on our sheet. We also want to, once we crop, we want it to actually turn off the crop box. So let me just still saving. There we go. Okay. And then so to turn that off again, you go way down here to the left of the little eyeglasses and then you hide the crop box. But now with all your dimensions, with the north arrow and the bar scale on there, you should be set to put on your sheet. I'll show you what that looks like. So on my case, so right now I will have to do a little playing to get this to fit a little bit better. So I'm going to kind of like nudge this down a little bit. The other thing to watch for is um, what happens with your title mark here. So if I click on the box of my drawing, then I get these little blue circles open up that I can edit it. So in my case, I'm going to move it down like this. Um, depending on where on the plane it is, I might need to move move this guy around a little bit, but we'll kind of, you can play with that in class too, to adjust that. But this is then basically set to be printed. And that's like, so what we're going to go over together in class. Um, the other thing too, is you can, I'm back on my floor plan, you can copy these. So I just collected them both and said, control C. Then I'm going to go over to my furniture plan, control V, put it down right there, I guess. We're also going to put this on a reflected ceiling plan. So again, right here, we're going to line it up. Okay, so just to review, we're now in the furniture plan. And in this case, we do need to turn off these um, the elevation markers. So I'm going to kind of collect them like this, right click, say hide in view category. Then I'm also going to turn on my crop box to be able to edit that. So to the left of my eyeglasses, there's my crop box. So far, everything fits just nice. So I'm going to turn that off. So that one's done and set. For reflected ceiling plan, same idea again, turning off these um, elevation markers, so hide and view category. Then I'm going to turn on my crop box and check on it. And in this case, I do need to bring it over a little bit to the right and then turn off my crop box. So back to the eyeglasses to the left of that. And so these three sheets, the floor plan, furniture, RCP, are now ready to go on our sheet sets that we'll set up together in class. Um, and again, let me know if you need any help with this and we'll kind of review as needed too.